Hello gorgeous, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fun Sephora haul. There are new items from Sephora collection from Danessa Myricks. I have a new skin tint to play with from Colfi. So I thought I'd just get ready with you. So grab your makeup and your brushes and let's get into it. I'll start with my brows. This is the Sephora Collection Retractable Brow Pencil. I have mine in medium brown. Sephora Collection has a lot of good items. I believe I have a playlist that I will link because they are drugstore priced and very good quality typically. This brow pencil is nice, I think maybe $15 and it does a great job. I'll go ahead and prime next with the Sephora Collection Boost and Lock. This is newer to their line. My only complaint about this eyeshadow primer is that it doesn't give a lot of coverage. But other than that, it is a perfectly fine eyeshadow primer. It's nice and thin, dries down to a matte finish. You don't have to set it. And then the shadows go on top very nicely. I'm switching gears away from Sephora collection and now I'm going into Danessa Myricks. Of course I have her new concealer that I am dying to play with, but I figured I would start with her Yummy Skin Blurring Skin Balm. I have two of these. I have one in the shade three and one that is universal. Honestly, I prefer the shade three over the universal just because it gives a little bit of coverage. You can see I have hit pan in this. I love this product. And when I say multi-use, it's because it is a primer with coverage. Kind of like the LA Girl one that I love so much, but this one is a little bit nicer for my oily skin. I love that LA Girl. What is it called? Perfect Tint. I'll pop up a picture. I do love that. And if you have normal skin, maybe even dry skin, that would be good for you. But this one is meant for the oily girls. It has a product called Upsolite in it that helps control the oil production. And when I only have a little bit to cover, this is all I'll use. And I love the way my skin looks with this on it all day long. Super smooth, more even skin tone. I really enjoy it. Now, I cannot wait to get into this. This is her Yummy Skin Lift and Flex Concealer for eyes and face. A soft matte, medium buildable coverage serum hybrid concealer with nine plant powered ingredients that flex with your skin to lift smooth and correct love the packaging. It's sort of wide and then thin. I got mine in the shade 6. It's a typical looking doe foot. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to see, hopefully the shade is not too light to cover because I would like to use it for both my face and my under eyes. Let's see, hopefully I can blend it in. I'm not even going to take in another dip. I'm going to see if I have enough. That's, that's one thing I've learned with concealer. You definitely don't want to use too much, especially if you have mature skin, which I'm a few days into 50 and it's going all right so far. <laughs> You're as old as you feel, right? And I don't feel like I'm 50. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush and just sort of tap this in because I don't want to lose the coverage. But I need it to blend a little. It's looking darn good so far. And I think I can get away with this shade. I think that looks fabulous. I would call that medium to full coverage. My imperfections have gone away temporarily. But this really caught my eye. This is the Colfi Lassie Lips Staining Lip Oil. I've been hearing a lot of great things about this brand. Let me know if you've tried Colfi. But 
this is what excited me. This is a brown lip stain. I am a nudie brown kind of girl. I don't always want a red lip stain, and I feel like that's what most brands are doing, like the Fenty lip stain. I love it, but it's red. And oftentimes a red lip stain fades into a pink, and I'm not a huge bright pink lip kind of gal. So I'm very excited to try this. This is the shade Tamarind. One looks a little scary because it looks a bit pink. Let's see how it looks on the lips. Mm-hmm. I like it. It feels really nice. It was very comfortable, the wand on my lips. I like to be able to get it all on in one dip. So far, I'm loving it. I like the shade. I like the feel. It doesn't feel sticky. It feels like a lip oil. So let's see what it looks like in a little bit. But right now, to set my under eyes, I have this powder from Danessa Myricks. This is her Evolution powder. I got in pink from BoxyCharm. And I have to tell you, this is my favorite under eye powder at the moment. This is on the very top of my makeup vanity. I can't even put it in the drawer with my other powders because I just keep reaching for it. Just touching under my eyes to make sure that I have no creasing. And it wowed me from the moment I used it the very first time. The pink is very subtle, but it does brighten and smooth. Very good. Time to contour, and I have my Danessa Myricks Contour Powder. This is in the shade One Fair. Beautiful packaging. It's a really nice, cool toned contour that is not too gray. Definitely a tippy top favorite, at least at Sephora. This is one that I would for sure recommend. A little bit on the nose. Very nice. For blush, I'm using the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blush. I have this in Rosé and Brunch. This is a very nice cream to powder formula that I can use on top of a powdered face. It's a beautiful blush that I really would love to have more shades, but this one's nice because it's neutral. It's not too pink. It's not too peach. This rosé and brunch kind of goes with everything, and it is quite pigmented. I went very little in there, so for the price, you're gonna have it a long time. I grabbed my Sephora Collection Precious Gemstones palette. I love this palette. I have had some hit and miss shadows from Sephora Collection, I will admit, but this is a very good one. I actually compared this to the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude palette. It really reminds me of that palette. Really soft, blendable mattes, the shimmers are really nice. I just went right into this shade. It is more of a cool toned vibe. I believe there are different variations of this. This one is the Pearl. What brush is this? This is my Unit 307. I'll take my Game Beauty EO4 into that same shade and just go underneath. I have done matte looks with this palette. Look at this beautiful creamy shade. They have two of them in there. And then you have some really pretty shimmers as well. I'm gonna go in with this one because it kind of has a little bit of a shifting quality to it. Go in with my pinky. I see lots of different soft shades in there, some pink, some purple, which is very pretty. I think that looks really soft and pretty. I'll take my Sephora 12 Hour Colorful Liner in matte black, and I'm just gonna add a teensy bit on 
my outer corner. These are creamy and they do not run. I'm curious about this lip color, so I'm gonna blot it on my hand and see if it transfers. And it does not. Let me blot it on a tissue to take the shine away and see how it would wear off. Look at that. That's really pretty. I'll next go into this new matte bronzer from Sephora. I got mine in the shade Sunkissed Haze. It's pretty packaging. This is what it looks like inside. We have a mirror. Ooh. A very strong perfume scent that I am not sure I am a fan of. I like my Jasmine Beauty brush for my bronzer. Go a little bit higher than that contour. Oh, that smell. I'm not sure, guys. It smells like cheap perfume. But as far as the bronzer shade, I do like it. I'll go back to the eyes, and I have my Sephora Love the Lift mascara. I really enjoy Sephora Collection mascaras. This one is a tippy top favorite. I like the small wand. I like how it lifts, this gives length to my lashes, and I can stop at one coat and be happy, or I can really build it to a bold lash look. I don't typically wear it on my bottom lashes, just because a lot of mascaras will smudge on my bottom lashes. But it does great on my top. I'm back, very happy with the mascara. The next thing we'll talk about is another lip product and Sephora collection. I have sung the praises of their liquid lip for years. This is my number one liquid lip recommendation. Anybody that's looking for a liquid lip that's going to be long lasting, not transfer, not bleed, the best red, this is what I recommend. And they reformulated it. At first, I was a little bit nervous when I got it in the package because I thought it looked smaller. So here is Always Red. This is the old packaging. And here is the new packaging. It looks very similar, but the new one looks smaller. But I did verify they are the same size. So it's just not wasted packaging. This Always Red, I will go ahead and swatch it for you. These are great to carry in your purse if you have a liquid lip on or any kind of lipstick that needs a little update. These are very layerable. They don't look chunky or thick on your lips. I love this shade of red. It is just the perfect blue-based red so that your teeth look nice and white. I love this and wear it often. This is the new one and I did check to make sure that the formula is just as good as it was, and it is. I did buy a few of them. Here is the old and the new. This is shade number 23, which is Copper Blush. I will swatch the old and the new for you. Here is the old Copper Blush. I love this. It's a, I don't know why they call it Copper Blush. It's very cool toned mauve. And then here is the new one shade looks the same. This had no writing on the packaging except for the Sephora and this one has Sephora cream lip stain on it. Also the bottom was nearly impossible to read. Now you can read it. So that is good. They've improved the packaging and the formula is still just as great. Another new one that I got is this number 76 Blaze of Glory. Let me swatch this one. I think Blaze of Glory is the one I'm gonna put on. Very nice. Love that shade. I have a Sephora Collection 16 hour transfer proof setting spray that I should not have used on top of this beautiful jewelry, which I'm gonna tell you about right now. If you have noticed my beautiful jewelry during this video, I wanna share a little bit of information about it. This is not sponsored but they were kind enough to send it to me. This is from a company called Read Your Heart. 
I had heard of this company from my good friend Clara Barrera. Her channel is Beauty is Ageless 55. I will link it. She has gotten pieces from them and always says wonderful things. So when they reached out to me and said, can we send you some jewelry? Of course, I said yes. It is a beautiful jewelry brand that focuses on the stone moissanite, which if you're not familiar with moissanite, it is the equivalence of the brilliance and fire of a diamond, but at a fraction of the price. It is often referred to as one of the world's most brilliant gemstones. Moissanite was originally discovered in a meteorite. However, they have since discovered how to lab create the stone and this, what I'm wearing, is moissanite. I want to tell you about the three pieces that they sent me. First of all, you get this beautiful bag. The pieces come in these beautiful boxes that are felt lined. I love the shade. It says, read your heart on the front. It also comes with some information about the moissanite pamphlet. There's a cleaning cloth. Let's talk about the pieces. This ring right here. This is the round cubic zirconia half eternity sterling silver wedding band stackable ring. It is beautiful. I believe I got mine in the size nine because I like to wear my wedding band. This is my family ring. But this is so thin and delicate and I love the way that it looks with my other rings. It really catches the light. It's catching the light more than my diamond, which needs to be cleaned, <laughs> but it looks stunning. Next are the earrings. These are the fashioned round cut sterling silver hoop earrings. I love how these go on. It's one of those that just clicks shut. The size is perfect. And now for my favorite piece. This is the Solitaire Moissanite Fish Line Choker Invisible Chain Necklace. It looks like the diamond is just floating on my neck. So delicate and pretty. I like it because the earrings are a teensy bit bolder and I can get away with wearing a necklace. Normally when I wear a bolder earring, I won't wear a necklace. I feel like I can get away with that with this. It is simple. It is light as air. It has a lobster claw clasp. It's just beautiful. I've been wearing it a lot. I get a lot of compliments. I will have information about Read Your Heart in the description box. They were nice enough to give me a discount code for 15% off. I will post it right here. I hope you will check them out. Tell me which piece you liked best. The simple stackable ring pretty hoop earrings or this invisible chain solitaire necklace. I love them all. Thank you so much, Read Your Heart, for sending these to me. Back to the new products. Final thoughts. The Colfi Lip Stain, yes. I am very excited to continue wearing this. I, of course, will keep you updated on the wear time. I have one more day before this video goes up. I will wear it tomorrow and I will let you know, does it fade when I eat? Does it mysteriously turn pink, which I don't think it's going to. I'm just so happy to have a nice brown glossy lip stain that doesn't transfer. Please let it wear a long time. The Danessa Myricks Lift and Flex Concealer. It is a big yes. This looks really nice on my skin. I'm so happy that this shade six, I was able to cover up my imperfections. Hopefully it wears well. So far it looks really, really good. The reformulated Sephora cream lip stain. Yes, absolutely. Still recommend this liquid lip formula. It is, it is fabulous. The only item that I'm not sure about is this one here. This is the Sephora matte bronzer. It's such a shame because I really enjoy the bronzer. I hate the scent. Oh, it does not smell good. It smells like very cheap perfume. Not enjoying that. If you're not subscribed, I hope you will consider subscribing before you leave. I would love to have you join me. I upload videos on Mondays and Saturdays. Give the video a thumbs up. And of course, leave me a comment. I love having a chat with you in the comment section. Let me know how your day's going. 
I thank you so much for spending some of your precious time with me today. I will see you in the next one.